If only we could stay here forever. If only. Hello there, everybody, and welcome to part 35 of Earthbound. So here we are, the pink cloud. This is also what makes Delam just so great, dude. <laughs> it really does. It really, really does. Just the fact that the sanctuary location is on a cloud, of all things, is really great. These kids get to experience a journey that is magnificent. Very, very magnificent. Alright, so we have another sanctuary in the books. We only have two more to go, and then we'll be powerful enough to destroy Gygas. So, as we... Hmm. I'm actually wondering... Is there anything left to do with Delam? Well, I imagine not, because, well, Delam is just one of those places where, you know, it's cool, but you only get to visit it so much. However, I do want to actually get more brain food, galaxy brain lunches, actually. Well, because we wasted all of our, you know, brain food lunches in the pink cloud cave, so... Yep. I'm gonna buy about, you know, th four of these, actually. Along with jars of deli sauce, because that is a very good seasoning for them. Probably the one time where I actually use seasonings, honestly. I mean, we got money to burn. We're good. We're all fine. And as such, Pooh is going to be our, you know, PP recovery boy. So cool. So very, very cool. So anyway, um, I'm actually gonna wonder if there's anything else to do, so I'm gonna be right back with you on that front. Oh, you can actually talk to this guy now, and you can call whoever you want. Um, I'm actually gonna risk it and not call mom. Because we haven't actually seen homesickness yet, so... I want to see how far we can go without being homesick. You know, from this point onward, I guess. Anyway, uh, we got another free heal. And uh, let's uh, do the uh, teleport. Because I don't really think there's anything left to do in, uh, you know, Dalam at this point. As sad as that may be. Um, you know what? Let's be... No. I'd rather save the tent stuff for the end of, you know, something. <laughs> so I just wasted two PP for nothing. Thanks, me. Anyway, let's head back to Summers. Let's do that. Look at me go! And yes, you can actually move during the uh, teleporting sequence. So, that's good. That's very, very good. Um, so, yeah, 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 Delon, very cool, very cool. Summers is also very cool, despite the people being assholes. Um, and I believe that's about it. <laughs> I believe that is about it, that all we can do. Aside from, you know, the, uh, Scaraba Cultural Museum, Scaraba Cultural Museum, Scaraba Cultural Museum. And, uh, over here, the one place that we haven't actually been to yet is the, uh, Summer's Hospital. Let's see what they're like here. Relax, take it easy! It's all in your head. A healthy mind is a healthy body. Oh, yeah, I truly believe that. I truly believe that a healthy mind is a healthy body, indeed. Which is totally why I, uh, wow, there's no people in here. Well, that's boring. I want to talk to people. I mean, instead, we got the nurse, the boring nurse, the boring healer, you know, all that jazz. <laughs> okay. So, anyway. Here's an interesting factoid about, uh, you know, this particular place. So, you saw that the photo man goes into the, uh, goes onto the boat. 
I believe that's a change in the modern re-releases. I'm, I'm not entirely sure if it is. But here's something that probably nobody ever figured out. Because there is a Game Boy Advance version of Earthbound. Because it was only exists in Japan. The game is called Mother 1 Plus 2. And, you know, I played it. Um, I didn't play all of it, but, you know, I played it. Well, really only the Mother segments. The Mother 1 segments. But because of the screen crunch of the Game Boy Advance... The photo guy didn't really appear over there. So he must have appeared somewhere around here, or maybe even, you know, right around there. So, that's one thing that's interesting. To go to Scarabell, you need to cross the sea. However, a monster named Kraken lives on the open sea. Yeah, I think we already talked to this guy. And besides, that's not the guy we're talking about. The guy we're, the guy we're looking for is over here. Thank you! You made my wife wake up! She quit talking about all that. She quit talking about all that serious crap. Yeah, let's work hard. If you're courageous, get on this boat. You'll probably see the Kraken and experience getting seasick. After all, it could only cost you your life, and you got that for free. Luck will determine the outcome of this voyage. So, do you want to sail the seas to Scaraba? Twenty bucks per person is fine with me. All right, fine. We'll shove out eighty dollars just to fill your pockets. Ready, we're reckless, baby! Bon voyage! I like this guy. He's cool. I need to stop the boat. It's been a long time since I was out on the open sea, and I feel so seasick. Oh man, what am I gonna do? A sailor who gets seasick? So how come you guys are alright? Well, that bald guy over there... Your buddy, right? He came from Dulam? You guys must be quite the adventurers. <laughs> I'm feeling much better now. Anchors away! Here it comes! A very dangerous foe indeed. This is the Kraken. This is what people were talking about in Toto and Summers. So, let's see if the legends were true. Alright, so, since this is a boss fight, we are going to, well, use the, uh, not that, but the HP sucker. Since that's been working out really good for us. And, uh, we are going to shield everybody. Alright, let's do it. Ooh, solidified body, okay. Good start, good start. I swear to god, if the Kraken doesn't even do jack shit during this fight, then I swear to god. Okay, that didn't work. Eh, we're gonna get healed up eventually, so yeah, we might as well go all out on this thing. Alright. Thunder Beta, let's go. Alright. PSI Freeze. Also, would you believe me if I told you that the Kraken had far less HP than Thunder and Storm combined? I say combined because I thought they were like one all of one guy. But anyway, yes. The Kraken has a Crashing Bang Boom attack, which is Thunder Beta. How the Kraken can use, you know, electricity, I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> Actually, I think it's more like an eel than anything else, actually. 
That's pretty neat, I guess. Let's see if we can actually make Thunder work this time. And it didn't even matter. So, so much for the Kraken, am I right? Paula is now level 14... 44. <laughs> 1444. She's level 1444. She's the strongest ever. Jeff is level 34... 30, 30, 30, 30. 38 for Pooh. Level 38. Oh, man! I thought you guys were just everyday little kids, but you defeated the Kraken. I also helped in the battle. I threw my slippers at the beast. Maybe you didn't notice. are. Did you come from Toto by ship? There's a scary monster in the sea. Did you beat him, or did you escape? Either way, you are fantastic! Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Welcome to Scaraba, everybody! And as you can probably tell by the way that Ness and the gang are sweating, it's gonna be another desert area coming up. So, yeah, be ready for it. Be ready. Here's the Hospital of Scaraba, nothing really too spectacular. Then again, you know, this is an old-fashioned town. So, there we go. There you go. It can be a little bit hard to tell what things are. No, I don't want any Bombi bandages. No soliciting me allow, please. Yeah, you can basically tell this is an old-fashioned, you know, Egyptian-style uh, town that we got going on here. So, it might be a little bit hard to tell where exactly anything is in this town, but, you know, whatever the case. This dude apparently knows the Dungeon Maker, so we might want to look out for him in the future. Definitely, definitely want to. Hassan's Shop. Dollar Dollars are acceptable. Well, we have Dollar Dollars, so I guess we can pay him for stuff. Welcome, welcome. Ah, the heat. Is your body okay? Can I interest you in some merchandise? Yes, I would. So, once again, we have wet towels to do our dirty work. But who cares? We have the awesome, awesome healing alpha to do our dirty work. Then again, it, then again, PP preservation is very important, very important in this game. So. We don't want to over-rely on that for a little while. <laughs> I don't have anything that you want. I mean, of course not. The Tenda tribe used to live here. They went to back. Well, they went to the back of the deep darkness as they were too innocent. I wonder if they're still alive. Hmm. Possibly. Possibly. Maybe. Maybe they do. Maybe they don't. Anyway, out of place ATM and phone over here. <laughs> How is that even a thing? I have absolutely no idea, but we have 20,000 to take out. And the Great Southern International Resort Hotel. So they range from 60 to 40, $400 a night. Right now, though, the, the Super Deluxe Suite is available, so... $400 it is. Please let us know if you find any scorpions. It's very unlikely that they will come out, but you can never tell. I mean... I definitely don't want a freaking scorpion to, uh, to, uh, you know, invade my asshole, but, you know, whatever. Anyway, we can buy big, big bottle rockets here. We got super bombs. Um, well, I am on the challenge if I can somehow make it through the next few parts of the game without Ness getting homesick, so I might as well take a big bottle rocket, I guess. And that's for Jeff. Not for anybody else, but for Jefferino. He's the boy. 
And then I'm going to buy three big bottle rockets. Because that's basically the best move that he has. It's the best move in the game. Yes, indeed, it does. Good morning, good sir. Please allow me to read you from our n local newspaper, the Scarab Papyrus. Kraken, the evil sea monster, is gone forever! Well, there is some news here about... Wait, there is some news here about... Wait, 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 hold on. Let me read that again. Well, there is some news here about... Oh. <laughs> that, that didn't make any sense, like... That, that, that didn't make any sense to me. Well, here is some news. Uh, he, there is some news here about, like, that... I swear, that didn't make any sense to me. <laughs> like, that grammar didn't make any sense. But anyway, here we have basically the equivalent to the uh, Berglin Park area where you can buy, you know, some various food items. You have a mark of bad luck on your face. Don't worry. If you want to know, I'll humbly tell you. You shall come back here after you encountered a dangerous situation. However, I may be wrong, and if so, a thousand pardons. The snake bag can hold live snakes. Yes, it can, but I am not going to do the snakes. I am not going to go for snakes. I bought a piggy nose. This will help out a large amount when I'm humbly searching for the magic truffle in the deep darkness. You too can learn how to use a piggy nose with the use command under goods. So please rest easy. If you already got what you need, great. If you don't, well, that's a real shame. Take a look at my menu and decide. Let's see, what do we got here? We got a big league bat, a platinum band for far less money than in summers. Defense spray, a crystal charm. That could be very good for Jeff. A broken cannon for Jeff. And a piggy nose. Well, I'm gonna, well, priority is the broken cannon. Because I don't think we've seen that yet. And while we're here, we might as well sell some stuff. Um, well, the Crystal Charm for Jeff. We definitely want to keep on that. Uh, I want to keep all these, but... You know what? We're going to sell a big bottle rocket. Why does everything have to do with 69? <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? Like, 69? <laughs> Okay, 69 might be a nice item, but Jesus Christ. Christ almighty. All right, we're going to go for the pig nose a little bit later. But for right now, let's see. We got a fresh egg, which you can hatch for a lot of money. Bottle of water, a cup of coffee, boiled egg, a kebab. Malo soup. And bean croquet. Croquette. Uh, no. The sun is merciless today, so please take care of yourself. I probably imagine it is. If you're going to the pyramid, prepare well. And be ready for whatever may occur. Oh, yes, I shall. Yes, I shall indeed prepare. Let's see what you got over here. Snakes are so unpleasant, but so cute. I don't... Oh, I don't know what I may be saying. Hiss! I'm Red Snake. Come on in. Kiss the fire. Armpit hair fertilizer. Yes! What is you want to buy? You can buy a snake. You can buy a viper, which is a stronger snake. And a vial of serum. No! Oh, no! You disappoint me. Ah, <laughs> uh, that dude's funny. Poisonous snakes cost more. Why would a fine young man like you need one? Well, maybe it's because I'm fighting snakes. Or maybe I'm because I'm fighting, you know, really weird stuff. Perhaps I should ASP an expert. That, that doesn't even make any sense. You should AX an expert will probably be more like it. Wait, what the? Oh. Pokey Stink still hangs in the air. Ooh. Spoopy. Oh, be careful where you walk. It's filthy. A chubby kid did his business out here somewhere. Oh, God. Uh, dude. Dude. I would like to apologize profusely for, um, my neighbor's behavior. Um, it was very rude of him. 
Um, it was disgusting. Why would he do his business, like, outside of, you know, just on the outskirts of town? Why would he do that? Why would he honest to God do that? I feel so sorry for that dude. I really do. But anywho, anywho, just to give you a little taste of what's to come. Here you go. We have, you know, a hint man telling us where to go. Hello. After you made all the necessary preparations, go to the pyramid. In front of the pyramid, as the writing on the hieroglyph told, step on the round stone plates in front of the sphinx and draw a star. There's really too much info to give out as a hint, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. I could definitely believe it. But anyway, yes, that is what you're in for. You're in for more Sunstroke goodness, as well as more enemies involving UFOs, Bukas, and possibly a pyramid or two. Or maybe just a pyramid. Actually, um, do we have sufficient item spray? Yeah, we do. Well, mainly because Paula is, you know, the most empty out of all of us. But we should be fine. We should be all fine. But anyway, now that we've gotten all of Scaraba, you know, explored, or at least the town of Scaraba all explored, a nice little quaint little area. Next time on Earthbound, we go through the Scaraba Desert in hopes of finding the pyramid. See you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching and goodbye.